You're, I think you're giving love on this Valentine's Day. You give love every day, but I think this day is the most special day. Tell me about it. Tell the viewers well, about it. <laughs> I do my best to share my love with those who are closest to me, starting with my children and obviously my siblings and the rest of my family and, and any significant other in my life at the moment. So I do my best to share, to show, to observe and appreciate those that God brought into my life. How about you, Maria? Uh, well, uh, I have my kids and I have the love that I gave out to my family in the Philippines, my immediate family. I have my cat in my house <laughs> that's that I true, love. That's true. Um, what else? I love my, you know, I love myself. So I well, think that's, that's good. good. Yeah, we all I love, love God. We all love. <laughs> I love my country. Good. That's important. Now I've got a question for you. I've been wondering about this. I know you have a black cat. Now does a black cat give you bad luck throughout the year, or is it always a lucky cat? Well, you know what? Happy Valentine's to all the people out there. Today is Valentine's. We're not gonna talk about my cat. <laughs> okay. Because we have only few uh, minutes. So yeah, so love to the cat also. <laughs> well, um, and also I would like to uh, to say, uh, I, let me say this to all the guys out there who's taking their significant other for a special day. Um, make sure that you make it right because you have only one day. Of the year to make it right on Valentine's Day. Although you can actually um, come up with a better way on Christmas and their birthday and every occasion or uh, holiday of the year. Um, happy. Let me give you a tip, guys. Okay. Valentine's Day. <laughs> let me write this down. Hold on. Let me write this down. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. All right. My <laughs> tip to all the guys out there is, but the, uh, you know, um, okay. Make sure, first of all, open your significant other door. No matter how long is your relate, how long you've been together, it's still yeah, open. Yeah. Yeah, because that's very important. A woman, uh, you know, a woman who's been open, uh, opened uh, by their uh, by their significant other. Their, uh, how do you say that? If a man actually open a woman's door when they're whatever occasion it is. It actually give us that give us that um, that giggle in our hearts. Uh, no matter what, if we like you or not, it still <laughs> it's probably actually give you an extra point if you do that. But that's very important. And also remember this. This is the second one, Joe. <laughs> I'm running an open door. What's number two? The number two is um, a lot of women actually. When you ask them, they said, oh, I'm going to give you flowers. And they said, no, I don't want flowers. The truth is inside their heart, no matter they like flowers or not, they, sometimes they give excuses. Uh, they're allergic to flowers, blah, 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 blah. That's not true. You still, no matter what they say, you still bring the flowers, okay? You still uh, give a flower to a woman because... That also actually give you an extra point. <laughs> and no. what? yeah, what's number three? What's number three? Number <laughs> number three. Okay, this is something that probably not everybody could do it, but I, I'm still I'm still gonna uh, tell you. Um, tip number three: get that small box. Buy that small box, it doesn't matter how much it costs. It can be five dollars, ten dollars, two dollar fifty. It doesn't matter, a dollar. As long as in that box on uh, Valentine's Day, it also gives you extra points to the woman. Because what matters is the chocolate? Yeah, even if it's a chocolate. It doesn't matter. It doesn't well, matter. It's it can be a box. It can be a chocolate, it can be it can be a diamond ring, it can be a diamond necklace, earring, or makeup, hey, or shoes. <laughs> <laughs> what's what's that, Joe? What kind of chocolate? Where it's a diamond ring. Well, you know what? 
smallpox. Okay. By now, you should know what your woman um, uh, choice preference in chocolate. Okay, that is something that I don't know. If that's that's how you actually do your uh, re uh, how you actually uh, how well your you know your woman discovery. So you're telling us that not just any chocolate will do. It has to be one of her favorites. Of course, one of her favorites. A chocolate, chocolate. No. Oh, no, 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 no. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Well, this is another another tip for that. If you're buying a chocolate that she, okay, if you're buying a chocolate that she doesn't want, try to get something that's actually imported. Something those are countries that make really good chocolate, like. Um, no, not Brazil, but Ger German. Germany. Yeah, those chocolates are very good. You know what? That they are not my favorite, but when somebody gave me one of those, I was like, holy cow! <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! Well, they, they, well they, that, those are material things. Um, the main point I here is actually the thoughts. The thoughts that you give. Um, you give to your uh, significant other, no matter what uh, gift you give them, how uh, you know it doesn't matter uh, what the what's the um, the ta tag price of that gift. It doesn't mm -hmm. it doesn't really um, really exceed the time and the love that you give for them. Okay, okay, I I can understand that. I have a quick question. If the woman wants flowers, why doesn't she just let the man know? It's because it's actually, you know, it's actually the the ego, the, yeah. you know, it's hard to get kind of things, or let me see if he knows what I want. Really? So we have to do our research. Exactly. That, that well, is my tip for you guys, and I hope you guys going to take it as positive as it is, because there's uh you know, the thing is, nowadays, we don't have men uh, or, I, let's say, gentlemen that really research for their woman. They they just, like, they are kind of like, um, they pass by, they say he he hello, and then the woman actually uh, becomes snobbish, and they walk, walk, they pass by and walk away. That's a, a lot of guys nowadays does. They don't actually uh, come to you and really dig into what you want and uh, I notice that a lot so that's the reason why I'm still single <laughs> <laughs> could be could be I don't know I don't know <laughs> well, now now let's well I scare a lot I scare a lot of people out there but you know what even though even though that's uh, what happened uh, Joe is I am I'm still friends with a lot of these uh, people, and we're not actually, we're not cutting off ties, we're not cutting off communication. Who knows along the way, right? After Valentine's Day, they'll call you back. <laughs> <laughs> now, don't advertise that, because you know what? I only choose people that I answer on my phone now. Except okay. you. I have to answer you because we have a show. Otherwise, well... <laughs> Shut up. Well, I keep using a different phone number to make sure you answer one of the calls. <laughs> well, uh, well, uh, now, what what can you actually give? Uh, what tip can you give uh, to people out there who's actually spending spending the hard day? Um, their you know the hard day. How do they have to celebrate their hard day specials? Well, well, obviously, a, a lot of men want to take their their beautiful significant other out to dinner. Of course, why not? But a big problem that a lot of us men face is Valentine's Day. The price of dinner almost doubles <laughs> in price, <laughs> and it's okay to spend a little bit of money sometimes. But often, when you go to a fancy restaurant. It turns out to be your worst meal because they're rushing people in and out so fast that the food quality is not always the best. So sometimes you're paying double for the meal and the food is less than half of the regular quality and it seems like a waste of time for a lot of men. So that gets a little frustrating. Why not go out?
out to Valentine's dinner the day after, or maybe the weekend, this week, for instance, and where there's less people rushed out there to have a dinner all at one time, and you can enjoy your meal a couple days later. Is that fair? Um, no. <laughs> don't, uh, well, uh, this is a tip for you guys out there. Don't ever take your date the next day or prior because that's actually a backfire on you guys. I promise you that. It does. <laughs> what, if, what if the man makes a dinner for the woman? Oh, my God. You know, um, if you make, there's a lot, it depends, Joe, because there's a lot of women that is happy and um, satisfied of just having with or spending time with their man. But a lot, yes, of course, there are. It depends. You know, um, what I notice it is, what I notice it, for a lot of women out there is it depends on their preference. It's not, not every women are the same. They have different preference. Why is that? You know what, it's actually, it's, it's their, you know, it's their mind and their body. I don't really have, we cannot judge what they really want. And what I want is totally different from other uh, women. What uh, they do is totally different what I do. So, but um, based on my own experience, um, or my opinion, I, I, I meant opinion, is I love to go out and eat. I love to try different cuisine. I love to go in a flashy, expensive restaurant. Restaurant. So if if you just gonna come, uh, or you just wanna spend time with me and date me into a into a McDonald's, <laughs> or in and out, <laughs> in, and out in and out burger. Uh, well, forget about it. I'll stay home. <laughs> now, I have another question. Why doesn't, in most cases, why doesn't the woman take the man out for dinner and give him flowers and buy him a box or something? Well, it depends. Uh, we, women can probably do that. It depends how much they like the man. If a woman doesn't, doesn't do that, then say goodbye because if, you know, um, well, probably not. If, why does a woman doesn't take out the man and pay for everything? Right, it's give and take. In most cases, the man buys most of the dinners. In most cases. Sometimes a woman pitches in, maybe for his birthday or something. So why can't the woman just decide it's on me? That's I love you, let me take care of everything. That's really a hard question, but you know what? Guys, don't let your woman actually pay for your dinner. That's not nice. Really? Well, that's, yeah, that's, that's my, my tip. If you're going to date me and tell me that I'm going to pay for your dinner, goodbye. <laughs> now, does the man always have to dress up with a suit and tie or just casual clothes is okay? Well, Joe, we're going to actually hold on to that question and we will be right back on the next segment. All right. <laughs> we'll chat with everyone then. <laughs> 